Hello, my name is Jari Multisilta and I come from the Tampere University of Technology from Finland. I work here as a professor and um, I've been doing my research on educational technology, especially for video-based learning, video inquiry learning. And in, in this short talk I'm going to tell you um, our experiences about uh, video inquiry learning and how we collaborated between schools in Finland, in California, and uh, in uh, Greek. So I come from Finland. I want to show you from the map where I am. So Bori is here on the west coast of, of Finland, in the southern part of Finland. It's quite far from where you are right now. I've been collaborating um, with several universities at the United States and together with Professor Eric Hamilton from Pepperdine University, we coordinated SAVI, Science Across Virtual Institutes, uh, program about innovations in learning and education. This was funded by National Science Foundation, uh, TECES, the innovation founder in Finland, and Academy of Finland. The aim in our program was to create uh, new ways to learn STEM subjects. In this program we had eight projects. They were very different uh, and one of those uh, projects was, was this video inquiry learning. Uh, that I did with uh, Stanford University and with Pepperdine University. But first of all, kids to learn 21st century skills. I think this is um, one list of 21st century skills. And many of these things are not subjects in a classroom. So we need to teach these things while we are teaching the subjects. So creativity, innovations, problem-solving skills, clearly these are skills that we, we think our kids will need when they get to working life. So we developed video storytelling and video inquiry for um, supporting kids to learn these skills and still learn the subject. So why video storytelling? Why videos? We thought that uh, people have always been fascinated by stories and we've been telling stories using um, books or TV or movies or very old times people gather together and and told stories to each other. And this was actually the way to teach new things um, and um, create a culture and, and preserve the culture in the community. So now that our kids use heavily internet-based video um, tools like YouTube or, or others, I think probably one of the most uh, you, or, or the, the most used uh, tool is probably Snapchat. They, the kids, like I mean, 15-year-old kid probably can send like 50 to 200 Snapchat pictures or, or short video clips in a day. So it's a it's a it's a huge amount that they use. Based on our study um, four years ago, Finnish school kids, 70% um, 70, uh, 70 of, of boys use internet every day, in, internet video every day, and 61% of, of girls use internet video every day. So I guess these numbers are much, much bigger nowadays. So we decided that, or we learned that kids use this, this internet video, but they actually don't use it in a classroom. <clears throat> we created a tool called Movie, 
uh, mobile video experience is the acronym. Uh, it's a web-based tool where kids can take videos using their mobile device, upload these videos to their to to the website. The website is secure. Uh, only uh, people who have user IDs can see the videos there, and it's limited for school use only. So there are no no other subjects, but only things that teachers do with their kids. And um, we did a project where we had 23 schools in uh, in these countries I mentioned: Greece, California, Finland. Um, also Spain and Singapore where we are participating. 29 teachers, over 2,000 users and over 6,000 videos. And um, kids were sharing many kinds of, of videos. So some of them were related to like exp expressing their opinion, like animal testing or recycling or homelessness. Some of them were related to physics, like filming laboratory experiences, telling the story um, of, of that experience. Or local history projects. So, for example, Greek students created a story or stories about ancient gods, um, and they actually did it using drama. And you can imagine how, how much lively this kind of information is when some of your own age actually tells you the story using the video tool. Well, the next step was to develop video, video inquiry-based learning. And um, this was the topic of, of our Savi Science Across Virtual Institutes project. So we wanted to do science through mobile device lens or mobile um, video camera lens. Inquiry-based learning is an approach to learning that involves a process of exploring the world around you and then make questions and make discoveries based on on your observations and the questions. So this is clearly something that supports 21st century skills and learning 21st century skills. So we think that inquiry learning really is the way to go. My colleague from Stanford University, Professor Poiti, put it nicely. He said that video can play an important bridging function, connecting connecting and spawning learning events across settings between school and home, for example, generating talk about math, science, engineering, with these conversations providing opportunities to ask questions, express puzzlement, share perspectives, and provide explanations. So what we did, we gave this movie tool to kids and we asked them to shoot a short video clips and then make questions that relate to physics or, or other STEM subjects. Questions that um, comes to their mind from that video clip. And this is one short example. So they uh, did a video clip about a uh, refrigerator and what happens when you open the door or when you close the door. Of course, these are very natural questions. What causes the electricity to make the light bulb work? How does the refrigerator keep the food cold? And when kids learn to make questions, they actually learn to find more information of that topic. So they go beyond the video, they go to books, they talk to their teacher, they, maybe they search internet. They use many tools to solve these questions that they made themselves. Another example. So this is um, 
a video clip, a short video clip from um, from a sports field. A person is running there. A very simple clip. And then we asked uh, kids what kind of questions you can make out of this video clip. And guess what? We got a huge list of very interesting questions. Why is the track orange? Why is his shadow moving? What makes the sky so blue? What are the muscles that help the body run? And so on. So very, actually very, very good questions. And when you start to solve these questions, you learn very deeply and very um, good way so that you can also apply your knowledge to new types of, of problems and questions. My final example is, is again a short one. So here they had a video, video clip where water bottle was rolling on the floor. And um, of course there is a lot of mechanics and physics behind this rolling. Um, these are the natural questions to make. But this is quite a lot to get from a very short, like 10 second video. So we realized kids really learn using this, this method and it's very motivating. It actually creates engagement to, to the learning. And engagement was one of the uh, outcomes that we wanted to have. Um, to conclude my presentation, I'll show you some statistics from... We asked uh, Finnish school teachers from first graders to, to high school, how they, what, what do they think about technology and using technology at school? So we realized that Finnish teachers are very eager to try out new technologies for their teaching. Um, but it, it has to be easy to use and, and uh, the learning curve has to be like short. And quite many had already experienced technology in their classroom. So they thought that their teaching has changed because they started to use internet videos in, in, in their teaching. They think that the use of ICT is exciting, but at the same time, it's challenging. We all know this um, technology is unreliable. Um, so we, th there is a lot to do in order to get that like easy to very easy to use and easy to apply in, in your classroom. But things get better all the time. So I was, I was really happy that almost 55% of Finnish secondary school teachers used ICT for place independent teaching. So they, they had uh, trips outside their classroom. They went uh, out to, to forest or to fields, to river, to explore something, to create um, uh, project work. And um, almost 30% of Finnish teachers communicated with schools in other countries using, using ICT or, or tools like video, mobile video or, or YouTube video, or this kind of things. Finally, we found out that engagement in our experiences was actually um, composed from two components. So it's always hard work. You have to work hard. But at the same time, working hard can be fun. Not fun like uh, smiling all the time, but fun like getting things done, learning new things. So. This kind of engagement was something that we were able to create using video inquiry. Together with my colleagues, Professor Hannele Niemi 
and uh, Lasse Lipponen and Marianna Vivitso. We published a book um, about Finnish innovations and technologies in schools towards new ecosystems of learning. It's available in, in, from, from Amazon, so if you're interested, you can find more inform information from there. So thank you very much. Here are a few links to my websites. You can contact me by email or you can follow my Twitter feed. I'm happy to communicate afterwards. Thank you.